and you know France better than we do, uh, uh, Simon. The, the, the reason why I'm asking you this question is uh, we saw uh, the, a kind of reaction from the Sikh community because they were banned from wearing turbans in France in school, the Sikh children who go to school there. Do you see that kind of a reaction from a 15% uh, population of France uh, consisting of Muslims, which really is a sizable number in the country? Do you see more friction? Uh, uh, many Muslims, in fact, are viewing this as uh, impinging on their religious ex uh, rights. No, not at all, because if you see what the, the statements given by the chief of the French uh, Paris Mosque, very important person, right. he said that the, the burqa was not in the Quran, and he said that the burqa ha has nothing to do in France, it was not the French tradition. So as it is not obliged, as it is not compulsory in the Quran, right. why? It, it depends on any country, every country, every tradition, you know. Right. He said that, he is a Muslim, very important guy, right. chief, of, chief of the Mosque of Paris. Right. Yeah, said that. Uh, Mr. Obese, how would you react to that? The fact that this is being accepted I mean, uh, by the Muslims who live in France. No, but then why did Sarkozy have to make a statement? He had to make a statement because throughout Europe you are seeing revival of Islam. You know, these are the colonial countries which went there to destroy the Islamic culture, Islamic heritage, whether in Tunisia, Algeria. Now you, you are seeing all these people from Tunisia, Algeria coming to France, living as uh, respected French citizens and equally proud in their Islamic identity. Now, why do you have to worry about it? I mean, he talks about Iran. Wasn't Ayatollah Khomeini given an asylum in, in, in France? Well, what does he have to say about that? Ayatollah Khomeini stayed in France, went back to Iran. I mean, are you saying that France has become a theocratic state? How can you Quickly, stop quickly, Mr. Simon, we're running out of time. Quickly. I think uh, there is no, nothing to answer. You, you said theo theocratic state. It is totally the difference. In France, we have no, no religion. The state is totally separate. Right. In the United States, in God we trust, in, it is written in the bank note. That would not be possible in France. But this, you just have to understand what is France. Perhaps you don't know. I'm sorry. Right, I'm, but I'm, it, when a, a Muslim chief of the French mosque said that there is no, no, no need of burqa in France, right. just try to understand French. Perhaps you don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. 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 Should I'm, we I'm, I'm for women, period? Let them wear what they want and be happy in wearing women. Right. And, <laughs> and, and, and let Sadia, <laughs> you know, know. woman on the panel, have the final word on that. But I'm afraid there are no easy answers to the question we were posing uh, tonight. Uh, uh, we need to get you the final results of that SMS poll. The question we asked you right in the top of that uh, show, should Muslim women retain their right to wear the veil, the hijab, the burqa? 63% of you now saying yes, certainly seems to have been, seem to have been swayed by Sadia and Mr. Obesi here. And 37% uh, uh, of you saying uh, no, certainly with you, Simon, on that one. Thanks very much uh, to the three of you for joining us on the show tonight. Uh, that's it then on Face the Nation. Goodbye. Good night.